Hey guys, this is Karma here with another video showing you guys uh, this cool little tool that I made with Microsoft Excel. Uh, basically what it is is a competitive Call of Duty statistics sheet uh, for teams. It's designed for teams that you could put in two people and you could also use it for doubles too. But basically here in competitive Call of Duty, we're underprivileged to the point where we don't get leaderboards because everything is done in private matches. Like in public matches, everything's kept for you. This not only keeps the stats that it would have for you in public matches, this goes above and beyond that. Uh, basically, what it is, is you come in and you put your stats in and it live updates on the spot, updates all these stats for you. Uh, everything will just everything will just go in automatically. Uh, but you do have to import your own stats. And what I mean by that is over here where, let's say I play a game of with my team of Octane blitz and we end up winning this game i go 15 and 15 and i get two caps asher goes 10 and 15 because asher's bad and he gets no we'll give him six caps i guess blur goes four and 19 because he just had a really bad game and he gets one cap ace is gonna go 44 and two because he's a beast, and he had nine caps also. So basically, you could probably see that all live updating over here as I typed it in. And as you probably saw it going through, you saw uh, Ace's stats going through the roof. You probably saw Blur stats tanking. That's what I mean by this updates live as I'm going. Another cool thing about this is it is all color coded. For instance, over here, uh, if it is green, it is good. You want to look for what is green and what is good. You also might want to look for what is red and what is bad to see where you can improve. Uh, I've got some cool things over here showing you how many maps you've won. That's also going to depend on what you've played, though, because we only have one S&D win, but we've only played it twice, if you look at that. So it's so cool. There's the overall KD over here, which Ace is obviously through the roof after I just gave him a 44 and 2. Uh... Let's see, shows the average kills for every game mode. That's one thing that's different. It does not have that in the public match leaderboards. It will not show you how many kills you average per game mode. So that's one cool thing to look at. Because when you're looking at your roles that people should be playing in uh, MLG variant gameplay, your Slayer should obviously be leading in kills. Your OBJ should be leading in caps. And it's just something you can like, you can do like, you can do a check to make sure that everyone's doing their role. So, I mean... Obviously, in s and your bomb planter, you guys need a bomb planter, should have the most bomb planter, stuff like that. So, yeah, basically, there's just a lot of coding behind this, and that's pretty much how it works. It's hard to explain, because I've got it all locked up right now, in case someone wants to download it. Probably going to put a link to download it in, this, in the description below, I hope so. That's the point of doing this video in the first place. But, yeah, over here, there's a whole bunch of coding showing, oh, maybe I can show you guys some of that if I unprotect this. Yeah, as you can see, there's just a bunch of coding over here. Don't really want people copying it, but yeah, there's just a lot of a lot of work put into this, guys. And uh, I don't know. I just want people to be able to use it because, there's, like I said, I put a lot of work into it. But oh, let's go ahead and put that back to. But yeah, when I uh, put this out to be downloaded, I'm probably just gonna leave that password on so people don't accidentally like click over here or. Uh, People don't accidentally change some formula that's going to mess up the whole spreadsheet. Everything is pretty good as of right now. I've gone over it a couple times. Let me go ahead and delete these stats. As you can see, we'll put the stats back to how they should be. Oh, and another cool thing also, uh, I've changed my name recently to Dunk instead of Karma because obviously there's a Karma on complexity that everyone is aware of, so I just decided it's time for the change. Anyway, if I go through and change this here, you're going to notice that it changes all the way throughout the spreadsheet on the graphs, uh, on the other data tables, and etc. So if I go in here and I type in dunk as my new gamer tag, hit enter, it changes everywhere automatically. Like I said, this is live update. It's super cool. Uh, I highly suggest that you guys use it. I think you're not going to regret it. You're going to find out if people are playing their roles. You're going to find out what maps are good for you. If you're a Game Battles premium user, you can go ahead and pick that favorite map that's good for you guys. Continue keeping stats. Things are going to even out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video, guys. But go ahead, 
download this in the link below. And I hope you guys have a good day. See you guys.